Hello there, beautiful people, and welcome back again to On How Channel. For people that don't know, my name is Enes, I'm working for you. So if you have any questions and video requests, make sure to drop them below in a comment. I would be happy to make a video for you. And for people that do know, welcome back. Please bear witness for that because I made over 200 videos on Shopify customizations. And they were mostly requested by you guys, I mean subscribers, and some people not even subscribers, but I'm fine with that. I still make the video for them, so don't hesitate. If you have any video requests, make sure to drop them below in a comment, and I would be happy to provide you the information you need or even make a video for you. And yeah, you don't have to subscribe, or maybe now you should con consider subscribing, because if you don't, you lose. Why is that? Because this is a very different chapter on this channel. I usually share small customizations, but now I will be sharing complete sections, highly customizable, so you make your Shopify store very professional without having to pay for those expensive teams or those hiring those expensive developers or paying for those monthly subscription applications which is not a very good idea or I'll give you a better deal just scroll down to your channel check out the videos I posted lately check out the sections and so on and I'll let you decide and I'll respect your decision but in this video I will show you how to add very professional and cinematic video banner on your Shopify store by using your own custom code and without using a single application and it's highly customizable it has more options than you will ever need and just give me a couple of minutes of your time and you will see that for yourself. And without any more talking, let's just jump to it. As you can see, by the way, this is Shopify down team. So I always start with completely new team, nothing on it. And each video I do small customizations. By the video 70 and 80, the team will be completely different. But now because this is a different chapter, I think I will reach that level by the video 30 or something. For example, you see this uh, uh, section right here. This is a reviews carousel that will show reviews from multiple sources, including Google, Facebook, Amazon, and Etsy, all in one place. And it's filterable if I click on Google, it will only show me the reviews from Google. If I click on Facebook, only the reviews from Facebook, and so on for Amazon and Etsy. And by using your own custom code, no applications involved, or check out this uh, notifications, sales notifications, what is it? It's gone? Come on, show up now, please. Here it is, sales notification on your Shopify store without having to install a single application by using your own custom code. And it's highly customizable. You can customize the behavior for it, how long it stays open in, and when it's open, and many, many more options. Just check out the channel manual, you will see for yourself. I already posted that video, by the way. What I'm about to show you in this video is this one right here, as you can see. This is a cinematic video banner that you can adjust the, the, the darkness of the video. You can reposition the heading and the description and the buttons. For example, this is how I made it look like in a different uh, banner as you can see. You can change the font for the heading. You can hide the button if you want. You can make the button transparent. Many, many more options. Let me show you how, to look, how it does it look like on the mobile by the way. And here it is, as you can see, you can, for, for example, on the mobile, I did pick to show two buttons instead of one. And yeah, they look a little bit large. There is options to resize everything, no worries. As I said, I did set uh, settings to show on the mobile two buttons, but for the desktop, only one button. As you can see, if I switch to the desktop, oh, not this one, sorry, this one, as you can see, it shows one button. And you can literally reposition the, the heading description of the button at any corner on the video banner there you want and let me show you that in action because i actually already removed the banner so let me reload the page as you can see no more banner here so to add the banner the first thing you're going to do is hit back to shopify dashboard obviously after that click on online store then click on teams then click on the three dots or left of customize and click on edit code then it will take you to the code editor for your shopify team and on the left panel right here you see this folder that it says sections simply click on it to be expanded, then click on the first option that says add new section. Because as I said, this is our own custom code. And in here, name it video dash banner. Maybe your team has already uh, a file, a section by this name. Make sure you name it something unique just for the avoiding conflicts or something like that. But it will tell you actually that it already exists. So video banner, then click on done. And by default, it will create some uh, code in here. Simply remove the whole code. After that, to get that code, simply scroll down the description box and you will see a link or actually wait, wait, wait until you see how the uh, video banner looks like and all the options it has and how it behaves and so on. Then see if it suits your, suits your purpose, then go get it. If not, just wait for the next video because I have something really interesting coming in the future. Let me assume that you already did. If you did, open the file with any text editor on your computer, then copy the whole code inside it, then simply paste it in here. 
And by the way, the file will come with comprehensive guide PDF file that will show you how to use every option in this section. And also my personal contact if you need me, obviously. So click on the save button after you pasted the code, we'll wait for a couple of seconds, it already saved it. We will get back to the team editor because we need, add, we need to add the section. So click on customize and we'll wait for a couple of seconds. Then hit back to the location where you want to add the section, the banner. I'm gonna add it here just for demonstration. Click on add section, then simply type in banner and it will show you cinematic video banner. This one, as you can see, then it will show you the banner right here and there is nothing on it empty because we didn't add the video yet. So let me start by the first option because there is way more options here as you can see. No worries, I will explain everything. Now we'll show you how to use every option for the best performance and also to look way better. And the first option in here obviously the video so you can find any video you want just make sure the video ends with that mp4 whatever it's hosted outside your shopify store or in inside your shopify store but i recommend you to host it in your shopify store so get back to shopify dashboard and after that click on content from the left menu then click on files then simply drag the video and drag it here drop it here it will be uploaded and bonus tip, make sure to compress the video in case it's the large file. It will take time and it will slow down the, the web page a little bit. But here is, I have a video here and it's not compressed at all actually this video. Let me get back in here, then simply paste it in here. You saw how I did copy it, right? By using the button, then click on the link and it should show up right here as you can see. So the first option in here, the second option, sorry, which is the darkened video for text visibility. Because if you have like a light background video that has some whites in it, the video will not be very visible. I mean the text, sorry, the text on the banner will not look very visible. So this option right here will actually add some dark background to the video so the text will be visible. And you can adjust how much dark you want it to be. Like if you increase this, it will be so much darker as you can see. If you decrease this, it will be much lighter on you or you can disable it if you don't need it and it will be the original video but in my case i like it like 0 0.4 0 0.4 yeah 0 0.4 is good so below the next option is the custom font because as i said you can set a custom font to the heading and how to get that font easy find any font that you like online simply download the file for it then upload it same as we did for the video. I already have some here, as you can see. This is the OTF, which is a, a font file. Simply upload it to your Shopify store, then copy the link from it in here, then get back to the team editor and paste it in here. Now we have a custom font for the heading, as you can see. And the option below it is the content positioning. And I have content positioning for both mobile and desktop. And desktop. The first one is for the desktop. So this is the vertical positioning. So I did add some comments so you can understand what it means. If I increase the percentage in here, it will actually go a little bit down, as you can see. And if I decrease the percentage, it will go up. So you can play around with the percentage here to get it exactly where you want it to be. And below is the option for horizontal positioning on desktop. If I increase this, it will move actually to the right, as you can see. If I decrease this, it will move to the left and yeah i know in case you want it actually to be on the left you might need to change the content alignment right i have already have the option in here as you can see if i did set it to left it will be at left let me reposition it a little bit to the right so no more like 35 yeah good but the buttons are not no worries i have the option too i will get to that no worries so the next one is for same options but for the mobile because as i said there is different position options for both mobile and desktop this ones are for the mobile same one as the desktop vertical and the next one is same one for desktop which is horizontal but for the mobile and the text alignment which is the thing i did right now and below is the content settings so the heading says elevate your experience which is the one i did set the custom form for it you can change this however you want and the resizing for it i have the, the option for desktop and the option for the mobile as well and below the heading color so you can change the color for the heading and below it is the space below the heading on desktop and the space below the heading for the mobile i mean the space between the heading and the description below it so you can increase the space here or decrease it in my case 20 is perfect and as i said i have both for desktop and mobile and below the description uh, description below the heading in here you can change this based on your brand or what you want to tell the customers in my case i'm going to keep it just like that and i have the option for resizing for both again desktop 
and for the mobile and the description color as well as the space between uh, below the description sorry on the desktop and the space below the description on the mobile so what else you need man i got you in every corner <laughs> no worries and in here the button settings because as i said this one we didn't move it we did set the column alignment to the left but the buttons didn't right no worries this is the option that you need to set it and if i increase this number the percentage sorry it will actually move to the right as you can see and if i decrease the number it will move to the left as you can see move come on it did move we have to wait again here it is it did move finally as you can see so play around with the percentage to get it exactly how you want and keep in mind this option right here will keep actually the buttons in the box where there is the heading and the description as you saw so in my case i'm gonna keep move it more a little bit yeah now it's perfect now it's perfect but i have to drag it down let me actually do that in the middle maybe yeah now it's good let me where i was where i was yeah uh, button settings we did go through this and below is the button sizing for desktop so i have uh, separate uh, the button sizing for desktop on the mobile so we have a uh, border radius uh, i mean corner radius sorry which is the rounded corners if you want more rounded corners increase the number you want less decrease the number in my case i'm going to keep it as four and the button text size so you increase the button text size and the button horizontal padding and the button vertical padding so you can uh, adjust the button size not the text i mean the button size and below is the button sizing for the mobile i have more options in here on the mobile which is uh, again uh, rounded corners and the text size and vertical padding and the button minimum width so you can actually control how uh, wide the button is and below is the space be below the buttons and the space between the buttons for both desktop this one and for the mobile because if you enable the buttons both on the desktop and the mobile uh, you might need to increase or you might you might not but it's your preference you might want to uh, adjust the space between the buttons and below is the options for the first button so if you want the first button to show up on the desktop or not if you do enable this option if you want the button the first button i mean to show on the mobile if yes enable this if not disable it just like this and below the option is for the uh, button tags the first button and the button link where the button should take the user uh, once he clicks on it just a dollar every time i set the button i might get rich anyway i'm already rich my boy. <laughs> i'm just joking uh, enable the open in new tab if you want the, the button to be in uh, open the link in a new tab instead of the same uh, page and button text color button background color button border color button hover color the same exact options but for the second button as you see so this is all based on your preference and how you want the banner to look like and below is the top padding and the bottom padding and after you play around with the options you can actually make this very unique that will suit your shopify store and i did show you some examples here as you can see and also this one what is it it's gone i reloaded the page i apologize about that but you can if you want by the way uh, to set like transparent background and this option it says button background color you can pick this option right here and simply drag this down and it will be transparent as you can see but make sure to change the the text color to white so it will be more obvious and that's how you add very professional cinematic video banner on your shopify store and as i said this section right here will come with a comprehensive guide that will show you everything you need and also you will get my personal contact in case you need me but for now i think my job is done so thanks for watching catch you on the next one